Over the past 20 years, Steve Collins, a medical doctor who specializes in nutrition, has worked in every major famine emergency in Africa. Nowadays, he works from a small farm on the southwest coast of the last European country to have experienced famine, Ireland. In 1998, Steve was awarded an MBE for his work in adult malnutrition. But it was when he teamed up with Concern Worldwide in 2000 that the way the world viewed and treated malnutrition was challenged and changed for good. They sought a new way to treat an old problem and they found it in the form of community-based therapeutic care, CTC, a remarkably simple yet revolutionary idea that restored the treatment of malnutrition to African mothers. Until recently, these mothers and their babies would have been treated in centralized feeding centers. Traditionally, these centers were set up to administer famine relief to starving people and were considered the gold standard in treating malnutrition. Up to then, I suppose that the big constraint to having community care or enabling women to feed their babies in their homes, malnourished children, was the fact that there wasn't a suitable food that could be used in this circumstance. Anything that we were giving out had to be mixed with water. In 1996, a French nutritionist, André Briand, invented a product called Plumpy Nut, a peanut butter-like supplement rich in vitamins and minerals. This was a major breakthrough in the fight to prove the value of the community-based approach. I think the invention of Plumpy Nut uh, was a, a key breakthrough. It's an oil-based product, there's no water in it, and so bacteria can't breed in it. And so having this perfect nutritional product that could be used safely at home really facilitated CTC. You wait, Kase Fanta lives with her family in a remote part of Tigray in northern Ethiopia. She's a mother of six and, like other African women, is busy from before dawn until after dusk, working in the fields and looking after her house and family. When one of her children is sick, Uwait struggles to get them the care they need. The isolation of her home and the fact that she has no form of transport means that any journey she undertakes is long, arduous and on foot. Plumpy Nut made it possible to develop a program which would allow malnourished children to be treated in their own communities. By using a simple band to measure the width of a child's upper arm, Steve argued that anyone could tell if a child was malnourished. The child could then be admitted into a CTC program to receive ready-to-use food and drugs. Instead of having to leave their family and livelihood for up to six weeks to stay in a traditional feeding centre, mothers could return home and make weekly visits to the health centre for monitoring and therapeutic food. Children who had lost their appetite completely could still be admitted to hospital for care until they too could be sent home with the necessary supplements. This system made it possible to reach and support far more women and children. Despite Steve Collins' conviction that his new community-based approach to treating malnutrition, CTC, could save hundreds of thousands of lives, he needed proof. He happened to be working in the Walaita region of Ethiopia in 2000, when in the middle of yet another desperate famine, he saw an opportunity to try CTC out. The government had banned the setting up of traditional feeding centres, as they believed them to be ineffective. Concern were working in a neighbouring district, and when Steve suggested that they try CTC and study the results, they agreed. 
in a way, when the CTC idea came along, it came along at the right time because a, a, a sufficient number of people were asking questions about the effectiveness of the traditional model of, of dealing with malnutrition. So then the challenge was that over a period of time, could you actually demonstrate with evidence that this was indeed a better way of dealing with it? And that's what we set out to do. And so we, we worked together to, to design a CTC program in, in the, the district where Concern were working. And in this one, we put in some extra monitoring so that we could actually start to produce concrete data. That, that program ran, I think, for eight or nine months and was a success. The mortality rates were, I think, 4.5%, whereas the, the standard you aim for in emergency is 10%, and the norm in a, in a developing country hospital is 20 to 30% mortality rate. That's 20 to 30% of every child that's admitted dies, whereas our mortality rates were only 4%. So it was obvious it was working. Having had concern, basically write the manual of how to do CTC. They were the best uh, partner that we had to, to go ahead and scale it up. But at the same time, with concern, we helped other NGOs to take this on and scale it up. This is an effective way for treating acute malnutrition in children and women within their communities using the available resources and with community involvement. Now the mothers of these children actually see positive changes in the recovery of their children.